day 46, 17th of August, week 10, Sussex Street Christian Centre building programme. Phew. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know we've got a new sponsorship deal with an organisation like this. Not really, I'm only joking. These are hand sanitizers. So there's one here and there's one to the other door into the building. As part of our food bank and also as part of our new regime for church when that happens again, we will be expecting people to use the hand sanitizers on the way in and on the way out of the building. So we're going to walk through and see what else is going on today. Follow me. I'm just going to go down the stairs, you stay there and then you can see what's going on. So we have some labels here. This is to instruct people either coming for food bank, where they need to get a parcel, or to fair share, where they'll get a bag uh, with some items in. We've tried to space everybody out to make sure that we keep people as safe as possible when they come into the building. And you can see there are lots of space at the moment. However, when we do eventually come to church services, it might look a bit different. Big, big thank yous to all the people who've helped to move the food bank stock from in this room into the back hall and for tidying up and all the other things. Thank you so much for your help. Let's carry on through and see what else is happening. Here we are in reception area. You can see, if you just pan around slightly, the other hand sanitising station that I mentioned on the way in. This is for on the way out, so we're trying to make sure that people sanitise both in and out, and as many times as possible. Whoops, just kick one of the boxes. All this is waste cardboard that needs to go to the recycling centre. Just going to move around this way, follow me. Did we mention the nice new lights? Can't remember. And the new siren for the intruder alarm. And then moving into here, lovely new switch. Ooh. That controls the automatic lighting in the toilet that's back here. And you can see there's some boxing in of items that has occurred. Oh! What's occurring? In here, so all looking good. Fantastic progress. We've even almost got a working hand dryer. Let's go and see what else is occurring. Oh, what's occurring? Here we are in the downstairs hall. Let's just move around so you can see what's happening in here. Uh, the doors are on. Some framing has gone on above there. And then just round to your right, you will see all the stock that we mentioned and the trolleys, which I think we mentioned last week. So we're hoping that quite a lot of this stock will fit into this store. Sadly, it's not the TARDIS, so there may be some left over, which we'll need to find a home for at some point. I'm gonna go through to this toilet at the back here. So follow me round. Here we are in the other toilet we mentioned the sinks and the toilet and various other things got lights coming on in here now as well a nice new window window sill has been put in place so again some real progress uh, and finishing things happening in and around the building finally we're going to go and look and see what's happening in the kitchen oh what's occurring got the tray of cups as I come into the kitchen and I'm going to put them down onto the countertop just here. There's something missing in here! What could it be? Have a quick look down! The extractor hood has gone. And if you follow me around here and look up slightly, you'll be able to see this wonderful extractor hood that has appeared on the wall. The function of the extractor is to take out all the gas, nasty smells, odours, goodness knows what else, 
out through the top of the hood there, you'll see there is a gap there holding the ceiling, no, holding the wall even. Anyway, this all happened today. So what else can we say? Not really much else happened in here. The big thing I would like to say is thank you so much. First of all, to all of you who've been watching these videos, keeping up to date, and therefore praying for us, and in particular, praying that we would find a solution for this uh, extractor hood to be fitted to the wall. Then the other thing to say is a big thank you to the team who actually physically lifted the hood in all its weight onto uh, some stands and then screwed it to the wall. We are really, really grateful all the hard work that people have put in, especially today, to get this extra effort up onto the wall. So there we are, day 46, all completed. Thank you again for your support, thank you for your prayers, and we look forward to seeing you again later on.